Hey everybody, the Austin awesome Gamer, I love here, and welcome back to more Let's Play of Paper Mario. And, uh, yeah, we're just now gonna continue on the story. But there's something I wanna show you real quick. Yeah, this, these weird guys opened up a badge shop, shop, and it's a really useful one, it's where you can buy badges. Without having to buy from, like, star pieces or anything, you have to buy from coins. And these badges, the first attack, multi-bounce, and the speedy spin. I, I should have gotten the speedy spin right now since like it makes you go faster when you like spin. But I just I just decided not to just because, you know, I just don't want to buy them right now. And here's like where the sewers is. We're not gonna do that right now quite yet until like much later in the game anyways if you uh hit this tree and uh another pebble and then we go in here this is the game room again i'm not going to show this until uh, after pretty much close to the end of the game because i want to show like all like the side questy stuff and the uh, extra stuff before I start the final part of the game. So, yeah, anyways, we bomb this rock right here. So that makes us we can use this train. Awesome. Yeah. That toad soda kind of looks like one of the Koopa Bros toads, but whatever. <laughs> anyways, we are going to our next area and onwards to chapter 2 as well. Which we are going there right now, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Choo choo. I love this thing also. When you're like riding the train, just so awesome. I've, I've already said this once and I'm going to say it again. The, all the music in this game, the soundtrack of this game is just awesome. Like, I love it. Yeah. We're just riding on Choo Choo Train, and we are moving on to Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry Dry Ruins. I wonder who that could be. Hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Anyways, we are at this weird place. Yeah. This is Mount Rugged. Huh, that's a really weird name. I'm pretty sure there was like some sort of like pun for that name, but I can't think of it right now. Anyways, we are moving on to Mount Rugged, which is pretty big. Not really that big, but anyways, we got an egg, which I kind of forgot how much it was, what, well, what the egg was, so I'm gonna check. It has like, restores 5 H, 5 FP, I'm sorry. It's not that great, but if you need it, if you really need it, you could, I guess, but it's not that perfect. Anyway, you see that block? But we, well, we can't hit that yet, since we don't have the right kind of hammer for it. What, you, what do you mean I'm not the right ha kind of hammer? Wait, never mind. I don't confound it. Where could it be? Uh-oh, who's that guy? Oh, we just bunked into each other. Oh no, sorry folks, sir, sorry. I was looking for something and we're not watching where I was going. What now? Are you Mario? Yes I am. Why are you are you're the Mario? Hello there. My name's Barry Harry. I deliver letters. Of course you do. Um I'm normally a letter perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with the last let lost letter. Wouldn't you know it? I dropped it on my room and now I can't find it. If you ever just stumble upon any letter any, anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job can depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. Don't you mean in one letter, don't you mean by three? <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to not only find three for it, no. Yeah, we're just only supposed to find three, not just one, but three. Because he lost three letters in Mount Rugged. Anyways, here we have a new enemy, which is a Monty Mole. And these guys are pretty cool. They look kind of weird when you attack them. And they just jump up like that. It's just so weird. And especially when they die. They just go up in the air and spin around. Spin, spin, spin. You need to bomb, need to bomb that monster more up. Okay. And we got more star points. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I got another one. Which I cut. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. Okay, we got 
sleepy sheep. Awesome. Yeah. And here we have this weird guy. This is a wacka. Ooh, I'm not even gonna begin to think of a pun for that. <laughs> Look, ow! Mm. And we get a wacka bump. Or wacka's bump, whatever. This is like a really useful item. This is like, it restores not only HP, but 25 FP as well. Again, really, really useful. I used to always like, like if you leave the screen and come back, you could still be able to pick up some more. I always used to do this. I always, I always used to keep on, like, getting like, spawning like wacka bumps until I couldn't get them. And there's a limited number of like wacka bumps you can get until you can't get them anymore, or until like the wacka guy disappears. I always, I always used to do that, but for some reason I just decided not to because for like it's just to make this game a little bit challenging but I don't know I guess I just decided I didn't really want to anyways but yeah yeah anyways we are heading up here and more mountain rolls to attack to attack yeah and we're really close to it, another level up I'm so excited so happy Anyways, and see that letter we can get there. That's one of the letters that Paracarry lost. But there's two more. I wonder where they could be. Hmm, I wonder. Anyways, those little rocks, if you go close to them, then they will start to attack you right there. Those guys are clefts. Those guys are really annoying. I, I start to get into one, but I just decided to... To run away until I could heal up more FP because these guys are really hard. Well, in my opinion, I'm just not good at them at all. And and, that, and of course, I'm also low on HP as well. So I'm not sure if I ever showed you like the runaway thing. Just have to keep on pressing A as fast as you can until you can be able to run away. Any ways you drop up here, you can get a sour piece. It's really awesome. <laughs> and we heal up the rock and we use a weapon look to heal up our HP and FP. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I just wanted to show you, you guys this back of well, the cleft, sorry. Yeah, if you do like the normal hammer on them, they, they won't kill you. They won't hurt, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna use charge on mine. And I'm just gonna use... I just decided to use this to because I couldn't really do anything yeah those guys the cliffs are really annoying I just don't like them they're not my like favorite enemy again none of my the enemies in this game are not my real favorite because they're favorite favorite because I'm not really a big fan of the bad guys in this game so called but yeah Anyways, we are really close to a level up. I really hope I can be able to record this whole video because, um, the battery for my camera is getting quite low and I really hope it can hold on. I don't know. Anyways, we are heading on over here to this new area, huh? And as you can see, we can go on the slide. We and plop. <laughs> I like that. And cutting again. Wait, those aren't clefts. Those are Monty Mills. What the heck? Anyway, we get to level up. Yay! And this time, I'm going to level up my BP because I need more BP. I think that was the next one I was really supposed to get because I always go and like it. Like have a, a range of things where I, you know, you never mind. And uh, there's something that you should do when fighting cliffs. If you have Bombet, well, of course you have to have Bombet. If you get Bombet, and if you have enough, wait, well, this doesn't use up any FP. It just acts like it's normal power. You have to lure, lure the cleft over to him, or you so you can bomb him, and then they'll get a really useful start in the 
Yeah, it's just really... But that time I didn't make it, but whatever, it's cool. I eventually make it in one of these fights. Anyways, we get another mushroom, which is uh, weird, because I don't like mushrooms. Anyways, <laughs> if you come over here, this is a little secret that I haven't known for quite a long time. If you go back, this is, I can see where the treasure chest can get a damage dodge. It, it decreases my damage by one. If you do that, action command. I, I, I guess you would say it's a useful badge. I, I also, I also equip this badge, but I think I unequip it for another badge that I get later on. Yeah, I, I just equip it right then. Anyways, let's just go over here and there's another cleft. Oh no. And there that time I did it right. There we go. And there was this one apparently. That was pretty quick. And you get three star points. Oh no, no. Anyways, you see that there's a star piece over there, but we can't get that yet. I, I, at first I thought I could use Cooper to, to give it to me, but... It's too far away, but I eventually, like, I get that one coin, but it was so stupid. Stupid. Anyways, we have another cleft, which I try and bomb so many times. These enemies going to be really hard to try to bomb. I know I should cut all these, like, failure stuff when I try to, like, bomb these enemies, but I think I, I don't know if I fail at trying to bomb them, or if it, I just make it for some reason, and I don't know why bomb bit wasn't moving at that time but whatever oh yeah I made it yeah I actually didn't make him cool <laughs> anyways it guy's down I'm not sure if there's like two clefts or one I don't know I'm not sure anyways we get a uh, honey syrup which I'm just gonna throw away this fried char these fried chars aren't really useful because if you get in a battle and you use it like the enemies run away but you don't get any star points from that, so that's pretty pathetic. So it's kind of stupid. Anyways, we got another letter, so there's one more letter we have to find. And I wonder what that could be. I'm not sure if I get lost trying to find that one. I pretty much know where that last one is, but whatever. Anyways, we're just going down here. Wee! I love the slide. It's so awesome. I could just give those next two letters. I can't. But back to Paracarry, but I just decided not to because I always like to keep all three letters to him when I have all three of them because just to save time. I'm pretty sure that's mainly what a lot of other people do. And I, I don't fight these clefts, clefts just because I hate them and they're really annoying and I don't want to like get into any too bad attempts to trying try to die or anything, but whatever. Anyways. Try and bomb up this guy, but I, this is the last letter. This is where the last letter is. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I had another failed attempt, failed attempt trying to bomb this guy, but eventually I do make it, which I did right there. Awesome sauce. And he's down, down, down. To a ring of fire. Okay, good. My camera is working quite well actually and I just wanted to check and see if I actually cut or not which was quite stupid to me. Anyways, I actually cut until I get to where I'm gonna get another whack a bump. Yeah you keep getting these until like you can end up getting like a whole bunch which will end up being quite useful. Well if you suck at this game. But yeah if you go down on this side you can get a few coins. Actually, a little bit tired because I just woke up like a, a little over an hour ago. It's cool, I guess. And we're gonna. <sighs> Give him the slip! <clears throat> I really should have read that line there, but whatever. You guys can read the lines, right? Right. Uh, we get him the last letter, and he asks 
to us to uh, take them on our adventure. Which, as you probably could already tell, Paracarry is our next partner. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that great, but, you know, it's cool. It's what I'm just going to take Paracarry because we have to. <sighs> Man, I know I'm so tired. Hmm. Probably not really that great of an idea to, you know, y'all on in a video, which I'm pretty sure not really very many people do in their LPs, but, you know, whatever. I'm tired, and there's no, there's no mistaking me. I'm tired. Uh, I don't know. And I start to cut a lot, because I don't want this video to be too long, just saying. Anyways, yeah, we get another whack a bump. Anyways, here we are where we're gonna get another badge if we use Paracarry. Yeah, this is Paracarry's move. Well, he will, you press down, you know, look, and old left, you, you, you will, uh, you, like, he will lift you up onto the platform. And I completely forgot what the other badge they are. And we have this bulbul character guy. He's really useful. Pretty much Jakarta choir. But whatever. I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna say it where once we get the thing from him. Yeah you do. And we get the magical seeds. These things are really useful. These got these things are pretty much required to be able to beat the game, but you won't be able to use them until like well, pretty much later, like, pretty much, I think at, like, chapter 6 or something. Yeah, anyways, we're right back here where we got the last letter, and we're just gonna use Perkner. And who's that guy over there? It's kinda weird, kinda funny. Hold up there, hold up a sec. Just a darn minute. I've seen you somewhere. I've seen you somewhere. Oh, yeah. Love this guy. And he just pulls out, a, like, a little note thing. Yeah, very similar. You look a lot like this fella Mario was on about one to punish. What give? What's your name? And here's the thing: you can access the stage choice to choose Mario, which he'll you have to find him and choose Luigi. For some reason, he'll let you pass if you choose Princess Peach. You still have to find him because what's this, Princess Peach? You take me for a fool, Princess Peach? Captured up in Aaron Bale's castle. You reckon I don't know that? You're asking for it, you big fibber. I'm the hero, Mario. Prepare for your weapon. Prepare for your war band. And yes, here we got, um, I really forgot what this guy is called. Oh yeah, Buzzar. So bizarre. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't believe I made that joke. Anyways, he has a power jump in action. I'm not even sure if I've ever showed the power jump. And this is Paracarry's new attack. I completely forgot what that was. And, it, and if, yeah, he's, this guy's attacks is like really really hard to try and dodge. I'm pretty sure it's like she, whatever. Anyways, we're just gonna do another attack on him. Oh jeez. And this, another attack where he tries to pull you up. It's really hard. It's pretty much like the runaway where you have to try to keep pressing A, but it's a lot harder to try and dodge it, but if you fall, you can try and dodge it. It's so weird. I'll, I'll just show you it uh, soon now. Yeah, that dodging is really hard to do. Anyways, I use another whack-a-bump, and that's you refund in action. Again, I'm not sure if I've ever shown refund. Well, I've shown it now, and yeah, the shell shot. That thing is really useful. I'm pretty sure can it does work on the, in like all enemies, but whatever. And yeah, that is quite powerful, I must say. And we use power jump again. I'm pretty sure like at this point there's like I don't know if there's like a certain amount of jumps you can use with the power jump or if I'm just sucking horribly at the power jump. I'm pretty sure it's just that I'm sucking, but or it could be that there's an unlimited 
it's like there's like a limited amount of uh, power jumps you can do until you can't do it anymore. I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's like a credit layer on, on that you can get. If I'm right, then I'm just sucking. Well, if I'm not right, I'm pretty sure there's another like upgrade to the power jump. Oh, in that time, like, isn't that weird? You like dodge it, like th that doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, come on. Get real here. And Bazaar is down because he's so bizarre. <laughs> Whatever. I got whooped. Yo! Wow, you got whooped. Whoop de doo. Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay, better hurry on up here. Anyways, this is going to be the end of this episode for Let's Play Paper Mario. Hope you enjoyed this. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos. This has been the Awesome Video Man 11. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Let's Play. Goodbye.